Hey, what's good, YouTube? Uh, like many of you that love the game of basketball, I kind of feel like I've been backed into a corner because I love living vicariously through games like 2K, love streaming it, but when you're someone who's coached basketball, played basketball, feel like you have a higher basketball IQ, and the only way that you can really get an enjoyable experience playing basketball via 2K is allowing yourself to be exploited. Let's talk about it. It's Mr. Hurst, and this is Sim Sports Gaming Network. Welcome to Sim Sports Gaming Network, your place for simulation gameplay breakdowns and more. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're new to the channel, Please subscribe, tap that like button, hit that notification bell so you'll know when new content drops. And so we're going to get right into it. Uh, the dilemma I'm having is, you know, I had already deleted uh, 2K on next gen because, you know, I'm not going to get in much into it, but we already know it's not a good experience. Um, and now myself, and then we've got other... Um, streamers out there, uh, YouTubers out there who are also just uh, pretty much just done with 2K. And, you know, some are jumping back on 2K21, or excuse me, some are jumping back on 2K20. Um, some are just not even playing 2K at all. And when you're someone who loves the game of basketball, it, it's really quite tragic. Um, we've got some people that have even ventured into jumping back on the NBA Live 19 uh, in an effort to kind of uh, get a hold or get the attention of the developers to be like, hey, NBA Live's got this set up, even though the gameplay is not quite as good, but like you can go to different world locations to play um, basically park-like games um, or 5v5 games and you know the the cutscenes where people are like you know putting their stuff on Instagram or whatever and and whatnot and all those kinds of things you know if you're going to not do those things and then say that it's your gameplay that's going to put you over the top but yet you're a simulation game that plays more like um, who is it All City Live TV put it as like my, more like an NBA Jam experience. When you're someone who wants simulation style basketball, it's it's incredibly frustrating. The most frustrating part for me personally is I'm tired of having to put money into making my player have the ability to just play the game at a competitive level. So I'm tired of trying to earn gem rat. I'm tired of you know having to go get boost. You know, because if you don't do those things, 2K has made sure that unless you're zenning or unless you're one of those top 1% that just have the ability some way, somehow, to overcome the things that 2K puts into place by consistently greening your stuff. Now, for the rest of us out there, it's just not a fun experience. Like, you work hard and you grind, and it just doesn't happen for you. That, that's probably the most frustrating thing, is now that the game is free to play, the game has also all, almost been equalized. So that those who have put the time in and grinded the game and paid for the game who have builds that have higher uh, levels and they have higher rep have been balanced to a lower scale so that those that are just coming in are able to compete with those people. And I'm not the first person to say this kind of stuff. You know? And so it just makes it really frustrating to want to continue in the game. And not only that, makes me not want to even bother with NBA 2K22. Because I already put a video out, um, and you, you can find that in the, the description below or uh, up here in the 
in the card. But the hype has already began. People are already starting to talk about it a little bit. People are speculating things. And it's all designed to get people to fall into the trap once again. And so I say that I've been backed into a corner because I feel like I'm kind of at a crossroads here. It's like, I love the game of basketball. I want to be able to stream the game of basketball. The, the 100 and almost 60 subscribers that I've gained as I started this channel primarily came from the fact that I was doing 2K content. But I've expanded into doing uh, Black Ops content and then some family content with, you know, Star Wars every now and again, you know, with Battlefront 2. But I find myself like a, a lot of these other uh, YouTubers and streamers that 2K just might not be it. Like there's a whole nother world out there of games and such that you can play. And if it's the gameplay that people are after... So be it. I mean, there'll be other people out there that continue to, to stream those things, but I'm hoping it's really just the personality that, you know, you're putting into it that the people are more interested in and the things that you have to say. And so I'm hoping that's the case with me because, you know, I, I, I don't know if 2K is going to be it. You know, my wife and I started playing Outright or the Out... What is it called? It's over here. I got it up. Yeah, the Outright Outriders. And so, you know, that's a co-op game that, you know, it's kind of got some cool things going with it. And, you know, there are some other things out there with the Black Ops. I'm really digging that league play. Uh, there's some fun stuff going on there. You know, and uh, I, there, I've got plenty of other games that I can get out there and, and find out what people are interested in, if not 2K. And so you can help me out by, you know, leaving a comment down in the comment section below. Now, if you weren't watching 2K, what are the things kind of interest you that you wouldn't mind um, seeing? You know, maybe there's just some topics that you would like, be, you know, just random conversation that people like want to talk about, just different stuff as, you know, a stream is going on. You know, because uh, I've seen some people successfully, you know, doing that because, you know, people just looking for a time to get away and, you know, to be able to talk to people and, 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 you know, just enjoy the company of somebody else, you know, and hear what somebody else has to say about, you know, the games that they're playing or, you know, just about life in general. And so that being said, you know, going into my new stream season here, um, starting on uh, Friday, starting my summer streams, you know, there's a good possibility that this guy's not going to be really doing anything with 2K. And so, you know, that's something you can let me know down below as well, because it's all about what people want to see. And so you still want to see, you know, 2K content, if anything, just to complain about the things that are going on or um, people may see stuff and they're like, you know what, if they just did this, you know, things might be a little bit better. You know, whatever those things are that people have in their minds that they'd like to see, or maybe just the community, just to collectively trying to get the toxicity out of the community and, you know, people getting a chance to, you know, give their two cents in on that because I've seen those kinds of things as well through your comments where uh, uh, people are either making suggestions or just uh, telling, you, telling me how much they understand the toxicity in the community and would like to do their part as well. And so feel free to leave a comment on those things below, whether... You know, if you want to continue to see some 2K stuff, if you uh, have some other things in mind that you wouldn't mind seeing, um, or just kind of topic talk stuff that you wouldn't mind going through, hey, feel free to leave those positive comments down below. Uh, it's always going to be positive vibes regardless. You know, always going to try and put a positive spin on things, even if, you know, things are a bit on the disappointing side. But, you know, speaking of which, it's just, it's just tragic that, you know, Somebody who has a potentially great, and I do mean great, product. Like, their basketball game, 2Ks that is, and even EAs with the new, new, con uh, new consoles, have the capacity to just put out quality, or maybe even there's a third party out there somewhere that has the ability to put out a great simulation basketball game that plays true to form. 
you know, that, you know, the sim heads out there are looking for. Uh, maybe it's a new mode for the sim heads. I, I don't know. But uh, that's that's what I would really like to see. But until then, it's like, it, it, it seems like they really only care about just getting you to continually flood money into their uh, machine to kind of keep it rolling for the next year. And they just keep collecting, collecting more and more and more money. And so it is what it is. I'm not going to keep rambling on here, but just wanted to kind of put that out there because it's frustrating me. I know it's frustrating you, and I would like to see us um, collectively do something to stop putting money in 2K's pockets so that hopefully they'll get the message and start making some changes. So once again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, uh, hit that notification bell. Um, really appreciate it. really helps out the channel. <clears throat> Like I said, we're almost at 160 subscribers. We're all on our way to 200. And I'm just really grateful for you guys supporting what we got going on here. And so, that being said, appreciate y'all. As always, remember, love God, love people. Peace.